Hey everybody, this is JC. What I got for you today is an ASOS ROG Strikes Arion. You can pick this up from Amazon for $56.99. And what this is right here, this is an enclosure. Where you need an enclosure? Where you need it to install an internal SSD hard drive so you could use on your Mac, Windows, your Xbox Series X or your PS5. And, um, and I like this because as you see in my last video, I did a I did an installation for S, for internal SSD in an enclosure. It was my very first time doing it. I was very nervous, and um, somebody let me know that um, it would not work, but I misunderstood what the person said. They said that it would not work because they believed that I was going to put it inside the PlayStation Five. Now. Sony has not yet released this, the firmware update where you could put in an internal SSD hard drive inside the PS5. So I misunderstood that, um, we both of us misunderstood each other. I said I was going to do it. He, the, the reviewer, not the reviewer, the subscriber that, that subscribed to my channel said it would not work. He, he Whoever it is, a he or she, I don't, wanna, I don't wanna offend anybody, thought that I was going to put it inside the PlayStation 5 and it, and that's why the, that's why that read, um, viewer said it would not work and I thought I thought that he meant what I was what I was trying to do turn it into an external hard drive so both misunderstand from each other and like I said if I've if I've offended anybody I apologize okay but anyway that's the reason why so I tried it for the very first time doing something like that in my life I've connected up and it works perfectly fine on the PlayStation 5. And I thank you guys, the subscribers, um, the casual viewers that pass through my channel and uh, make that video a success as it is. I was not expecting it. And I thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I got so excited, I decided to get another enclosure. Now, with the enclosure that I, that I had, I realized it uses USB Type-C 3.1 which is a little bit slower than the current generation 3.2 that the Samsung uses on their T7, the Crucial uses on their X8 um, external hard drive. So the reading time, the writing time is a, is a few seconds slow. So I had to go on Amazon and order me one that's a USB Type-C 3.2. And um, the Sony PlayStation 5, the USB Type-C is 3.2. So you get the fastest on read and write time possible for downloads and boot ups. So that's why I got this RGB, um, ASUS RGB. And as you can see, the RGB means Republic of Games. And um, we got a, according to the box, we got a beautiful RGB lighting. And um, right here, you got the Design Award for 2020. Oh, really? And you got CES Innovation Award for 2020. That is pretty nice. And um, I see right here on the top, you got the dual USB cables, so most likely it comes with a USB Type A to C and a C to C. All right, let's look at the side what it says. Uh, Republic of Games, you use it for Mac and on Windows 10 compatible. You got a pin inject injector that means you probably use it to prop open the casing. I can show you right here the cables, and you got right here a R hook and protective holder. This is one I'm going to take a look at in a second. And you see ROG Strikes Arion SSD. Now, on the Amazon website, they got two types. They got the the Arion and the Arion Light. I think the Arion Light is a probably uses three. I don't know what it is, but but it's a little bit cheaper. So I think in since it's light, it probably have less features. So I don't know, but I didn't I didn't check it out. I go with the one that costs more money, and this was and this is it. The difference in prices is, I believe it's $10. The light is for $46.99 and this one right here, the Arion, is a $56.99. But anyway, right here on the box, it shows easy to use pin installation, futuristic design featuring ASUS Aura sync lighting effects. That means it's, that means it has some beautiful RGB lights, which I can't wait to see. And you got the aluminum alloy case, a thermal pad to deliver aggressive heat disp dissipation. Okay, that's very impressive. You got the dimensions right here, the weight, 98 grams, and um, the overall system requirement, Windows 10, with eight to 64 bits, interface, USB 3.2 Gen Type 
C compatible with USB type USB 3.2 gen one okay okay that's cool speed 10 gigabytes okay this is what you need to know right here when you get in an internal hard drive you got to make sure that the internal hard drive matches with the um the enclosure and it shows right here it's focus is acting pretty pretty ridiculous right now that's why i can't wait to buy me a new camera sorry guys the focus is not acting right see okay right here what well, the ssd compatibility um you gotta you gotta be m.2 m key with a pci nvme all right ssd only with 2280 2260 2242 and 2230 all right so these are the requirements of the internal hard drive that you're gonna have the internal hard drive should have to be compatible with this thing and um i ordered a new internal hard drive which is a gen 4 and it's very powerful more powerful than the pyn that i that i have as a matter of fact let me show you right now this is a pyn that i use in the old casing that i had yesterday this one right here you can see it's a m.2 nvme solid state so this is compatible with this um enclosure but i'm gonna order i'm gonna order a new a more, a more powerful one i see the one i see on amazon costs almost 160 bucks way more powerful than this so i want to see the difference so according to yesterday one that i have that was using enclosure use yesterday it was this one it's the um the mokin right here mokin this is the enclosure this one was pretty affordable 16.99 on amazon nice metal casing but um it uses usb type c 3.1 the transfer speed was pretty decent but um i think with a 3.2 it should be a it should i should see a download and boot up time by a few seconds um improvement so this is going to go back it was very good for the one day run but you got to go all right enough of me yapping let's get into it and again again i want to thank you guys for making the video what it what it what, what it is yesterday i never expect so much views and i thank you guys please continue to view my channel and please continue to subscribe like and hit the notifications all right for all those um, subscribers thank you so much thank you so much i really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart and for those casual viewers that's passing through please take please take the leap with the other ones that, that have faith and just subscribe and hit your likes and leave your comments and hit those notification buttons all right now enough of me talking let's get into this and see what we got inside i got my like my like a trusty right here snippy so let's go to the side you got like a tape oh, that's one down and another one let's see what's inside the box and i like the presentation from asus or asus however it's pronounced you already know nice the presentation on the box is very nice very beautiful and it gets what um right here design award for last year and ces ces um innovation uh, innovation award yep perfect this is a 56 dollar presentation 16 dollars presentation you get it you get the point anyway let's see what's inside this box here Mm, it's really tight. I think I don't want to rip it because you know in case I've, in case I have to send it back. I like things to be nice and neat. Oh, all right. Okay, put it to the side. Oh dang. This is nice. This is a beautiful presentation. This right here feels like felt. And I think this is a enclosure. Oh my dang. Oh my dang. This is is heavy i love it i like things that have weight this is heavy feels so good oh, let me calm down anyway let's see what's inside here hmm. another beautiful presentation look at this um i think this is the case i mean the pin and it shows right here and i think this right here is a thumb screw a thumb screw so you use your finger to tighten it down and the um, what call it the the in the internal SSD into inside the casing. This is cool. And look at this. 
this is a holder right here it's the shape of an R that is cool that oh it's a clip oh snap that is tight yo I'm not getting rid of this enclosure I'm keeping this enclosure look at this for Asus you did a very good job you guys know to make things nice oh wow I like this I know what is this right here what's inside this box right here what else is inside let me see. nice okay got some booklets another booklet right here nice for the RGB no this is a type A to C type C to C beautiful and I'm um, I think what is this oh I think this is um the, the the rubber almost like a uh, protection for the for the internal for the yeah this is a casing like a rubber um protection thing that's cool all right so let me let me pause this video and i'm going to get into the installation now i'm back on deck now i gotta keep my thing to the side my internal right here my py pny why keep us in pyn oh, anyway the pny the internal I got, to keep, I got it right here keep it to the side and now let me open up this um nice nice um asus rog enclosure mm, look at this beauty look at this beauty this is nice looks so futuristic nice metal casing beautiful and um excuse me where's the pin okay this is the pin right here let's let's see let's see if we could get it out oh this i'm i'm, I'm liking this already i'm excited i don't know if you're all excited i'm excited well this thing is trolling me and i don't like to rip things i like things to be neat and neat but okay there you go so this is a pin like right here it's like a ejection pin you get with your phones to put your um your sim cards in okay look at it a nice asus logo right here nice and neat perfect now this is the um this is the pin hole you gotta pin it through right here you see so let me let me go ahead and see you do it oh hear that click that's ooh ooh oh dang yo i got it i'm like a kid in a candy store i gotta do this one more time <laughs> let me try close it real quick it's so satisfying i'm like a kid in a candy store it's, if it, it's so satisfying oh god see i'm so excited i don't even know how to do it okay i'm i'm trolling my own self okay i think i got it in i gotta do it one more time it feels so good and it sounds so good okay let me do it one more time three two one oh that click is so satisfying mm. okay let me calm down so this is it you got like a what is please insert please initialize your new blank ssd before using it you may refer to the user manual for more okay but i think i um i think i reformatted my um my my internal that i used yesterday that's fine see this got the the, the padding installation that's nice and this is the internals this is the inside of the um rog very futuristic nice and right here this is i believe this is the the, the the finger the screw the finger screw that you gotta use to tighten it so it's pretty tight right now this way you use to hold the ssd in place so i'm gonna um loosen it real quick like this ah okay this is my daughter right there okay got it right there now for this right here this is the um the the, the ssd I'm gonna slide it into the groove right here. Seems to, seems like it's gonna be a little bit easier than the one that I used yesterday. So my one day doing it, I become a professional, <laughs> or that's what I thought. So so far so good. It's in. It's all the way in. Ah, oh, no, it's not. It's not in. Ah oh, man. After yesterday, I thought I was a professional, but I was wrong. <laughs> anyway i think i got it in so this is the screw right here okay let me see if the screw is going to fit in first no it didn't 
Okay, got to put it in like this and finger tight it. Okay. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'm back. I'm sorry about the short break. Uh, my daughter, she was not feeling so well, so I got to attend to her for a little bit. So I'm back. Now, what I got back right here, the, in, the, in, the internal SSD, the screw right here. Well, the focus is tripping today right here. This is a... This is the screw that you get with it. What the heck's wrong with the phone? Yeah, that's it. I'm getting a new camera one day. Here it is right here. So what you got to do, you got to put it, um, the, the, the peg, the groove for the peg inside the SSD like this right here. Right there. There you go. And with this, you got to give it a little shimmy so it could fit inside. So like this, let me show you. Slide it in this little slot. Give it a shimmy and it goes all the way right in like that. And this is the screw. This is the screw. You can see right there in the slot. So what I gotta have to use, I gotta use this um this pin ejector and tighten it like this. Hope you guys can see because I don't know why this um iPhone camera be trolling today. It's not focusing. Gotta tighten it a little bit. Okay, let me use my finger see if I can tighten it. Give it like a finger tight. All right, so you don't want it too tight either, you know? You don't want it too tight. See, and it fits right into play. Holds firmly, okay. Now, now to put back the shield on this thing here. I turn it around like this, slide it in, this little groove, and voila, snaps right into place. Very simple, right? Very simple. After my first day doing it, doing, um, doing it for by myself, and this is my second one, I think after I did the first one with the Mokin, it's like my professional already. <laughs> Thank you guys, see? And I like it, it's very futuristic, it's very weighty, nice metal casing. Oh, I almost forgot. This arm, this arm protection right here, this rubber, the rubber um, side protector right here. So I guess it's, it's right here to protect it when it falls. See, so what I'm gonna do right here, I'm gonna slap it in, slap it in right here in the casing. Oh wow, I'm so distracted. I'm getting phone calls right now. I don't know if my recording is, is going to be interrupted. And then my daughter um, coughing because she, she's a little bit under the weather. Oh man, so I want to slide it in. Oh, this is tight. Mm. Oh, there we go. I like this. It comes with, comes with, comes with a rubber protection on the side, see? You can <laughs> drop it on all of that. Go down, see? That's cool. And also with the R, this is like a clip right here. Show you guys. You could put it in, clip it on, I should say. Like, I like, oh dang, I'm tripping today. So I got it in, I think I got it in. Hmm, I ain't got time for all of this. I'll do this later, it's not, it's not that important. But see, it's like, right, like this. That's what it's supposed to be like, I think. Let me see. Yep, because it be like that. I can walk around and whatnot. It may not be the best because I didn't do it right. But anyway, y'all get the point. Now, now for the test. I'm going to go into my room right now and I'm going to, um, I'm going to my room right now. I'm going to test my PlayStation 5 with this right here to see how it works. All right. Yeah, and welcome back. Sorry for earlier. I was very distracted. Like I said, my daughter, she's under the weather and um, kids running up and down and I'm trying to focus. And I was getting a phone call, so I don't know if in the, at one point of the video, my voice, um, you didn't hear me because I was getting phone calls and I, I was a bit distracted. So if I sounded like I was off, that's the reason why. And I apologize to y'all. Uh, that's why I couldn't even finish what I was doing earlier. But anyway, enough for me. Let's go back here. Now, this is the beautiful um, Asus ROG Republic, Republic of Gaming right here. I got, I put the rubber, key, I put the rubber um, protection right here on the side. And looks pretty good. And if you could see right here, like yesterday, I got my room. It's I, I, I can't. I didn't get the chance to clean it up yet. I could show you right here. That's the beast right here. That's the beast. The, the Samsung T7 on the floor. He's on timeout because he's been a bad boy. So let me go back out here. And um, as I show you, I'm gonna connect this. Um, I'm gonna connect this Asus ROG. Ugh. To the back of the PlayStation 5. I want to see if it works, alright? So, let me do this real quick. As you can see, the, 
the right here got a USB Type C. Oh, everything's trolling today. What's going on? USB, oh, dang. Anyway, go into some lighting. Our um, USB Type C 3.2 can connect it up right here, just like this. Ah, see, perfect. I'm gonna plug this into the to the front of the PlayStation. See if it works first. USB Type C to USB Type C. All right. Here I go. This is it. Light up beautiful. Beautiful light, you know. Nice, nice light show. Let me go on my PlayStation 5 and see what it says right here. It said the storage was not removed properly. Okay. So let's see what happened. I'm gonna hit the OK. Something's wrong with you to be connected. You need to repair it. Okay, I'm gonna repair it. So I guess that's for the um, internal. Oh, it works. I guess why I said that because I did not um I did not uh, remove it properly. I think it it, it meant for the the Samsung T7. They say I did not uh, remove it properly. So that's what it is. And this is right here. I'll show you. This is the casing I got. The ROG Strikes Arion, and that's what it is right here. So apparently it works. All right, and I got it in front of the PlayStation 5. So look like I look like I didn't have to format it. Oh no! The reason why I didn't have to format it because the internal the internal SSD that I have is inside the new casing, so it's reading the internal SSD, not the casing itself. But this is the, this is the description, the ROG. That's a, that's a that's an enclosure, I should say. So I guess I guess the I didn't have to read for I didn't have to format it because of the SSD that's inside the enclosure. Like I said, I'm so distracted today, y'all. So if so, like I'm babbling and yapping, I'm sorry. That's the reason why. So I'm sorry about that. So let me see right here. Okay, good. So let me go to console. Let's see what they're gonna move over. See, you're gonna move over my, my regular test dummy. My test dummy right here is Marvel Miles Morales. I'm gonna move it over onto this um the the um the SSD internal hard drive with the uh, with the ASUS. ROG 3.2 enclosure. All right. Let me get my um my um my um stopwatch on deck. Man, this video is kind of tripping right now because like I said, I'm I'm, very, I'm off today. I'm so distracted. So anyway, enough of me yapping. And I apologize again, guys. So I'll show right here. I'm gonna move it. I got my clock right here on deck. See how fast it is with the 3.2 cause the previous enclosure was a 3.1 and this enclosure is a 3.2. So we're gonna start at three, two, well, three, two, one, go. Oh, hit it too slow. Let's see the difference. And I'll come back to you as soon as it's, as soon as it's um, finished downloading. All right, welcome back. I'm at four minutes and forty six seconds, and I'm, I think the I think it's gonna I think it's gonna do good this time. Look at it, four minutes and fifty three. Four minutes and fifty five seconds. Now I think yeah, it's a big difference because remember with the old um, enclosure I had it was a three point one, and on um, the PlayStation Five uses three point two, the Samsung T 7s external hard drive used three point two USB Type C three point two. So there's a difference in speed and you can see that that's uh what you call it that's four minutes and 50 what four minutes and 55 seconds that's pretty impressive and i want to show you i want to come back to the to the to the light show look at it it consistently changes light let me go closer to y'all this is beautiful this is beautiful our asus yeah it's beautiful if you guys want to try it, get it. It's worth it. It's worth the 56 bucks. Now, back onto the screen. As you can see, I'm going to show you real quick. It's in, See what's inside. My external. It's in there already. Live and direct. Boom. Beautiful. Now, let me go get another game. I think it's in there. Let me get another game. My PS4 game. Let me get my favorite. Final Fantasy 7 Remake. Is 
okay so let me go do another move test and um and this one you already know i like to test games that have big memory you got this one got 86 let me reset the clock real quick as you can see we set the clock and we're going to start at three two one go all right and then i'm going to be right back to see how fast it does it all right everybody i'm back it's almost done I'm at four minutes. Oh, I'm at five and five minute mark now. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Uh, let's see. Five minutes and eleven seconds. Five minutes and eleven seconds. That I like. That is impressive in my book. That's impressive in my book. So, with this um ASUS ROG um enclosure with the USB Type C 3.2. I see the difference in speed. Remember, the enclosure I had was a 3.1, and um, it was it was all right. The speed I think I, the speed was okay, but this enclosure that got a 3.2, which everybody uses, the PlayStation 5, the Samsung T7s, the Crucial X8s, um, the, for the for the SSD um, for the SSD external hard drive casing, they use 3.2, and um, this ASUS right here is pretty good. I like it, and the ASUS. The ASUS got the beautiful RGB light. I love it. So, so it took it approximately five minutes, and um, I don't remember. Oh, five minutes? How much? Let me go back to my stop clock right here. Five minutes and eleven seconds. I like that. That's pretty fast. Now, here's the here's the, here's the thing. I want to make sure it's in there. So, all my games are there. It's on there. I got the Spider-Man right here. The Final Fantasy is there too. But everything is on deck. Now, I want to see if the Final Fantasy is fully installed. Yes, it's fully installed. Let me go down here to show you. It's fully installed. So it's good to go. Now, let me go back out here to the main screen. Now, since I got some free time on my hands, I'm going to do the boot up test. The boot up test. And you already know, I love my Final Fantasy boot up. It's my regular test dummy. So this is going to, this is going to be it right here. Because you remember, with the casing I had, I think it took like 23 seconds. So I want to see if the casing makes a difference. And remember, I'm going to buy, I'm going to get a more powerful SSD for the casing. This one is a Gen 4 and it's so much more powerful. It cost me way more money, but I like to test new things for, for, my, for my purposes and for your purposes too. All right. Enough of me talking. I got my clock on, up on deck. I'm going to do the boot up test. And um, I'm going to start at 3, 2, 1, go. Let me see if the 3.2 makes a difference. Twenty two, twenty three seconds. It's the same like the um it's the same like the the um the one that I had yesterday. So it's not that bad. Twenty three seconds, that's not bad. It's not bad. So I think the thing the thing is my analogy I would use is like a car. Reason why I say it's like a car, because a car got two components that that's that people like to pay attention to. The engine and the transmission. The in the transmission is the speed that moves the car all right it's got gears it's got many gears and um the ssd is an engine okay you know the bigger the engine it got more it got more horsepower more torque so it will move but the difference is if you got a small engine with a big transmission it's not going to make much of a difference it's going to it's going to only move as such as, as depending on the amount of power that the engine have now for the p and y which is um, a one terabyte and it's like a third gen it was okay to boot up uh to boot up uh 86 gigabyte game in 23 seconds that's impressive that's very impressive so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna um get this more powerful um ssd to put in it and i should see a big difference in um download speed but overall what i see about the asus rog strikes it um whatever it's called I'm impressed I love it it's worth the 56 bucks this is gonna be my new enclosure it's not going anywhere 
I'm going to continue to use it and I'm going to still keep the beast on timeout because he's been acting very bad lately. So this is it right here in all this um, RG, RGB glory. This is the boy um, JC, you already know. Hit the subscribe, likes, hit the notifications and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for tuning in.